Yahweh Shalawah. First and foremost, gonna start off by giving out all praises and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh The will honor to the apostles and elders of Yasharala that rule well, and salutations to Yahachim out there in the highways and the byways, preaching His word in truth and in sincerity. And uh, you know what we're gonna go into is basically, you know, hey, uh, uh, hey, we, we gotta cry out, man. We gotta cry out to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. You know, to Yahweh being the name of, uh, of uh, the Heavenly Father, but Hashem in the name of, and Yahweh Shai being the name of, of who people nowadays ignorantly call Jesus Christ. You know, we got to cry out more to them, man. You know, we got to show them that we want to be saved, man. You know, because when the Most High comes back, you know, uh, uh, that's who he's looking for. He's looking for men that, that, that want to get out this place, man, for the wickedness, for the oppression, you know, for all of that, you know. So we got to show him, like, you know, we got to, hey, Lord, please, hey, cry, cry out to him, beg him, you know. Sure. Hey, be, be, be in that spirit that, that, you know, that as soon as we see a little sign of, of his return, oh, shit, you know, that might be it, you know. Quick quick to, you know, to go, man, you know. Of course, have that balance still. We got to endure, you know, what we got to go through and, and wait. But, hey, you know, as soon as we know this green light to shit, you know, be happy it's here, you know. Mm -hmm. But, uh. I got you, sir. You can start out with that uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 9. You want to start at the top? Uh, 9 and 4. Yeah. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, That's pretty good. Yeah. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right, hey, and it says at Jerusalem, because hey, Israel, Israel was a people before it was a place. You know, and Israel is also known as what? As Jerusalem, uh, Jacob, mm -hmm. you know, the Lord calls us those names. So, hey, well, wherever we are, that, 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 that's considered Jerusalem, Jacob, Israel, you know? So, hey, go, uh, so whoever is not crying in the midst of where we're at, you know, uh, hey, uh, well, whoever is crying is going to get that mark. That mark, uh, when you go into it, uh, uh, it, it means except from judgment, mm -hmm. you know? Meaning you're not gonna get judged. Why? Because you're sighing and crying of the abominations, you know. Because you're 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 tired of seeing uh, 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 these homosexuals with more rights than you, these transsexuals. You know, having to worry about if you're hollering at a girl or if it could possibly be a man, you know. It, that in itself is madness, man. You know. Uh, uh what else? A hey, uh, uh, women being over you, you know. A hey, folly being set at great dignity, you know. All that, man. You know, you, you, we got to be in that spirit like, ah, oh, this, you know, this, this shit fucking is annoying, you know? Yeah. Those, those is who the, the, the Lord wants, man. Those who hate evil and love the good. Because, you, know? you know, if you, uh, once you separate and you come into this truth, your spirit is going to be vexed all the time. So that should push you, as you read, that should push you and push your spirit towards that spirit of crying. Because your spirit is naturally going to do it anyway if you're really into the truth. Because you're going to get tired of this goddamn place. Because there's no standards, no morals, nothing. It's just all out chaos and, and, and uh, confusion like the brother was going into. So you have to be crying out and signing to the Most High to destroy this place. Just like Lot. You know, Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. That's the spirit you're supposed to be in. You're supposed to be in that spirit of just continuing to hate this place, man. You can't live in this place. You know, you should be signing and crying because for the simple fact, you can't even live in this place, man. And a lot of our people, they're not in that spirit, man. So when the Lord comes... Those are the people that are going to get destroyed right along with the heathen, you know? Right, yep. Definitely. In verse 5, it says, And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Hey, to the rest, man, to the ones that are what? They're okay with this place. You know, the ones that are, that, 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 that are, that don't care, that, that, that are, are, are okay living here. You know, they're okay with, with all, all that wickedness going on. Oh, this, this is fine. This is just the way of life. You know, those, those are the ones that the Most High is going to come back and, and, and judge, man. You know? Yep. Uh, you know? It says, verse 6, it says, Ezekiel 9 and 6, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Right. Hey, there you go. Hey, the Most High is not a respecter of persons. If you love uh, wickedness... You're not trying to get right, and, and you love living in this wicked place, man. And he's going to judge you, whether child or woman, man. Yep. Whether old or young, you know. He, 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 he doesn't care, man. So if you're, you're an Israelite, 
a so-called black, Latino, and Native American, hey, hey, with a woman or child, old or young, man, hey, it's, it's, it's best for you to turn from that wickedness and, and, and set your mind right so you can start signing crime, you know? Or else you're going to get destroyed with the rest that aren't, yeah. you know? Yes, with sir. the rest that don't have that mark. I got one more question. Go for it. This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 19. Let's see. Let's see. Isaiah 19 and 16. In that day shall Egypt. Excuse me, slide here. Isaiah 19 and 19. In that day shall there be an altar to Yahweh in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar at the border thereof to the Most High. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord, which is what we're supposed to be doing. That's what you make yourself, a sign and a witness if you're crying in, uh, on the highways and byways and in your everyday life, mm -hmm. right, after figuring out you're an Israelite. The Lord, that's a sign. The Lord sees that. It says the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. He sees all this wickedness, but he also sees men and a speck of righteousness uh, all right, crying out unto him to, for them to save them, save them out of this place. And the Lord sees that, man. It right. says, hey, like, like, was, hey, like the brother was saying, even these videos, man, is, is, a, is a sign of you sign and crying, man. Yeah. Like exposing the wickedness. You know, they're like, man, look at this. This, this is madness. Look what Esau is doing. Look, this is what we call him the devil. This is why we got to get out of here. Look at the food. Look at this. You know, that's a sign of sign and crying. Yeah. You know? It says, uh, and it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord. Because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. You know, and that's going into the fact of why we're signing crying. So the Lord can send us Yahweh Shai, man. Already we know that Yahweh Shai is itching to come back here anyway, but he doesn't know when he's going to come back. All right, but the Most High, his father, is hearing all this signing and crying. So that's what we're supposed to be doing, bugging the Most High, like, Lord, please, please, you already said you're going to destroy this place. Just, you know, hasten the day, as the scripture says. You sign crying, you hasten the day. You don't. You, we shouldn't be in a spirit of wanting to stay in this place after we figure out we're the nation of Israel, which a lot of our people, they figure out they're the nation of Israel, but they want to set up businesses and they want to make it and be successful in a wicked kingdom, which is not going to work. You should be in a spirit of sighing and crying. So those people that are not doing that, they're going to get the death and destruction. Right, because we, we, we were set right here to... to, to uh, uh to get punished, man, to learn from, from the wickedness that we did against our power, against our God, yeah. you know? So when, once we realize that, once we come to this truth, it's like, oh, shit, damn. Hey, hey Salakia, you know? Please, damn, hey, uh, Salakia for doing this. Take me back to the land. Give me peace. I want rest now. I don't want this. I don't want this lifestyle, you know? This is literally to, to learn our lesson, you know? Not, not, not to come and learn where Israelites and then try to Make this our homeland. Yeah, assimilate with Esau and the heathens, and, you know. We, we, we want to get out of here, have our own place, man, have our own land, you know. Yeah. Keep going with that. Yeah. This is our Exodus 2 and 23. It says, And it came to pass in the process of the time that the king of Egypt died, and the children of, it, of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage, and they cried, and, they, and their cry came up to Yahweh by reason of the bondage. You know, hey, this is spiritual Egypt again. And we're in heavy uh, bondage here, man. Constantly having to work, man. Yep. Eight, eight, eight hours a uh, shift, 10, 12, you know. Some brothers, they have to work uh, 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 two jobs just to make ends meet, you know. It says, and the Mosai heard their groaning, and the Mosai remembered his covenant with Abraham and Isaac and with Jacob, man. Well, how, why? Because they cried, you know. So what's crying about is the Mosai will remember, like, oh, these are my people. Damn, you know, you have, you have mercy on us. Now they're coming back. Now, now they know that that that, that now they learned their lesson, you know. So hey, they, now I'm gonna go. I'm, I remember that covenant that I did with their forefathers. So now I'm gonna come back, you know. If you're not crying, then he's not. He's not gonna. He's not gonna come, man. It says, and Yahweh looked upon the children of Israel, and the Most High had respect unto them, man. That means he acknowledged them. You know, when you look up to that word, that's what it means. He acknowledged them. He, he 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 heard their their sign and their crying, man. It's like it's like a, a, a like a father, man. You 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 chastise your son for doing some wickedness. You 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 beat him with a belt, you know. Once you see him crying and and and, and repenting, and then you're like, okay, well, now I, now you 
not once you see that he's actually sorry for what he did, now then you show the mercy. Like, okay, now you now you know your lesson. Now you're not to do it. Or come on, you know, you know, you know. I'm gonna give you, you know, a cookie or some shit, you know. Uh, and that's what the Lord's gonna do. You know, he's gonna come and save us. Right. Yeah. This is uh, Hosea five and fifteen. It says, "I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense." And seek my face, us crying and, and, and sighing to him. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Okay, so the Lord is expecting us to seek him, man. He said he's going to go and hide himself. That's where the Lord is, man. All right? He hasn't came back yet, but he's seeing all He's seeing all of what's going on on the planet. So that's why he said, I'm going to go and hide myself until they, see, until they seek me. And how are we seeking him? By crying and, and, and sighing on uh, the, the highways and byways. Isaiah 58 says, cry aloud, spare not. We're, like you said, even on the highways, we're crying. Crying aloud. You know? Everything that we're doing is supposed to be that, that spirit of mourning towards the Most High. So he can come save us out of this predicament we're in. Which is complete confusion and madness, man. You know? You, like you said, the brothers have got to do all this work and slavery and things like that. <laughs> you, should be, you shouldn't be in the spirit of accepting that. Because the scripture says we're supposed to have all these other nations in slavery. We're not even supposed to be working. You know, so for that simple fact, you should be crying and sighing to be put back on top, understanding that you're the chosen people, man. But a lot of our people, they don't want to do that. So when the Lord come back, he's not going to even pay those people any attention. You know, like you said before we did the lesson, you said the Lord wants to come back and, and see people that want to get out of this place, man. You know, not come back and see everybody's complacent and comfortable, you know, that's and that's part of the reason why the Lord puts us through things. So, so he, we don't get comfortable, man. So we continue to like, damn, Lord, you like, but the Lord is saying like, see, I'm going to do this to you. See, don't you want to get out of here? And that's going to make you, it's going to initiate you to cry inside towards the most high and do his work, you know, so that you can further your chance of getting out of this place, man. You know? Mm -hmm. This is a uh, second Peter two and six. It says, and, uh, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and this place is just doing that exact same thing as Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Even worse. Yep. You know, so guess what? See, the most I already gave that example. Yeah, if America's not listening, then they're, they're going to get the same judgment. It says, and deliver just lot begs with the filthy conversation of the wicked. You know, but who did he deliver? Just lot, you know, righteous lot that was vexed with all and everything that was going around, man. So, hey, so we got, like the brother mentioned earlier, we got to be like lot, you know, so that when he comes and destroys this place, we will be delivered just like he did, man. It says, for, the, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds, you know. That's where the most I saved him, man, because he was constantly... Vexed, constantly mad, you know, crying. Like, man, what the fuck? Look at these motherfuckers, man. These yep. going out, you know, being the, uh, being in whatever whatever type of public transportation they had back then. Then he hearing the people talk about some wickedness. Like, oh, man, these fucking guys are stupid as fuck. Like, why are they talking about this? You know, that this is wickedness. That that's madness. Seeing seeing all the stuff going around, you know. We we gotta be there so that what he will deliver us. Whenever he comes and destroys this place. Will be the ones get they get uh, pulled out of it, you know. Go ahead, brother. Okay, I got one. This is uh, this is Luke. Uh, so like this is this is Luke. This is Luke eighteen. And I'm going to start at one. It says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought to always pray and not faint. You know, a praying also goes in, in, into crying, man. Begging. Pray goes, pray means to beg. beg. Begging what? That the Lord comes and delivers you, man. You know? Hey, when you pray to the Lord, hey, of course you pray for wisdom and all that, but also, hey, to get you the fuck out of here, man. To get you out of here as soon as possible. You know? So, hey, it says always to pray and not faint. It says, uh, hey, every morning, man, the brother, uh, 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 
You know, he says that every time he he wakes up, you know, to go to work for Isa, hey, in in the bitterness of his of his heart, man, he sends up he sends up curses, man. You know, showing showing the Lord that look, I, I hate this. You know, I, I I want out of this. You know, so hey, we, we gotta do that, man. As long as we're here, man, you know, hate this place more and more, man. You know, it says verse two. It says, saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not the Most High, neither regarded man. And there was a woman in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary, right? She was crying. It says, And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Do I fear not the Most High, nor regard man? Yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And this is what the unjust man said, the unjust ruler. He helped her just for the simple fact that she was complaining, that she was just begging and begging. Please, please, please. Like, oh, man, fuck, man. I don't care about anything, but I don't want this bitch in my ear. Now I'm going to get her. All right, who, 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 who's, who's hurting? All right, well, somebody take care of that dude and get her out of my presence. You know? And this, this is an unjust ruler. This is verse 6. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge saith. So, you know, so listen to what he said, you know? And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect? So how much more Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai being a just ruler, you know, being the you know be, be, being a, 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 the most righteous, you know, how much more him is he gonna deliver deliver us us con continually uh, 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 begging, complaining, you know? It says, and shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, day and night, though he bear long with them. You know, even though it might feel like he's taking long, you know, we're st we still got to continue uh, 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 to cry, man. You know, Unt until he, he, he comes, man, until we, we get uh, what we ask for, man. You know, Cause it is like, the little, the, the, like the little kid wanting a, to a toy, man. Continue, oh, can I get this? Can I get this? Please, please, please. You know, we, we, we got to uh, cry like that to the Lord, man. It says, I tell you. That he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith in the earth? You know? And by the time we know it, man, hey, we, we won't be crying out for long, man. Because he's going to come, you know, when we least expect, man. You know? Sooner than we think. You know? And based on the prophecies, man, hey, man, the way that the, the, these prophecies are manif manifesting, you know, hey, he, he's soon to be here. You know? Hey, and it says, it says that... Uh, he coming, shall he find, uh, find faith in the earth? Hey, 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 the only faith he's gonna find is gonna be the elect, man. You know, the way hey, the, the ones that are signing and crying. Everybody, hey, everybody else is not gonna have faith. That's the only uh, faith he's gonna ha have, like the brother said, uh, that, that little a uh, spark or speck of, of, of faith. That and, and that's who the elect. That that's the only faith he's gonna find when, when he comes, man. You know, right. hey, hey, you crying out loud that that that, that shows your faith. That shows that that, that, that that you know there's a way out, and, and the only way out is through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And you believe that. You know? So, so what do you do? You're, you're crying until he comes, man. You know? Yes, man. Yeah. This is Isaiah 62 and 6. Yes, it's great. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, keep not silence and give him no rest. Until he established, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, you know, and that's that's basically the whole that's the whole object of why we're doing the, the work, man, so that the Lord can overturn our captivity, you know, so He can come back and show these other nations who the real power of the earth is, you know, and to give His elect, all right, His men that are going to rule the next kingdom with Yahweh Shai and King David to give them to give them their their freedom. You know, give them, break them out of this bondage that, that we're physically in. Spiritually, we're not in it anymore, you know, but physically, we're still in this captivity. So the Lord wants us to sigh and cry like that. Like you said earlier, you said, uh, beg him and bother him. So he just goes ahead and, ah, uh, okay, go take care of him. Yahweh go, go do it. Go, go, go destroy the nations and go get my, go get my men and my children. You know, that's what we're trying to uh, accomplish, man. So we're not supposed to give him no rest day nor night. That include that's the crying man, crying unto him day and night, you know, and and, and give the give him no rest until he makes and establishes uh, Jerusalem.
It makes us a praising earth again, you know? That's all that. Hey, you know, hey, they, they, that's it, you know? You know, hopefully we, have to, we got the message uh, the message across, and, you know, we, you know, if you're not in the spirit, hey, you better get in that spirit, man, because mm -hmm. that, that, that's only who the Lord is saving, man, those men that want to be saved. With that, you know, uh, we're gonna end it by giving out our praises and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala that rule well, and salutations to you, Achim, out in the highways and the byways, uh, preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Baba Baba Baba.